Hello everyone, welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. Alright, so I was going to meet the professor in here. Professor Fig. God, what a name. You uh, cannot be serious. Oh, Goblins right. working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. Yeah, don't even it wait until Black we leaves the room. Just blurt it out. Right in front what? of the headmaster. That's... Wait. You access the restricted section? But how? Magic. Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. You just told me not to tell you. First the guy tells me it's better if I don't know, and then I want to know everything. Oh, oh dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful. It may take some time. Why do I get the feeling he's the bad guy? I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive. Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm. Perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. Hmm. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Yeah, that means do side quests. <laughs> right, I have uncollected wards. <clears throat> Sorry, the noise you hear is me eating some chocolate. I haven't had any in quite some time. I think a few months now. All right, let's see. Legendary. Eh. Not sure I like this. I think I'll stick with... What was it that I had? Hmm. I think I might like this one better <clears throat> than, uh, than this one. All right, yeah, that works. As for this... How is this a dark arts scarf? I mean, that just seems like the most ridiculous thing. I'll remove the scarf. Ooh. I like the planet. This one matches the, the color and style better, I think. Hmm. Wonder if I can. No. 
And I'll keep the, uh, this handle for now. But I'm hoping I can change the wand slightly. <clears throat> oh, right. I should get to Hogsmeade. So I can actually sell some of this crap. Oh, that's neat. Can you rotate? No. Where's the... Ah, here it is. Clothing shop. Does it get any more cozy? As soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow. And it might be best to do so outside of the castle. All right. Rebellio. Well, the mail was already read to me. I don't know why I would read it again. Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed. You're worrying far too much. Nobody's looking at you. Look at that boy. Why did you buy me a second pair? I hate these Novelty socks. Novelty socks at that price can't be passed up. Yeah, I. <sighs> Oh! Wow. Okay, that is a lot more than I thought it would be. You have socks. I'd rather have no socks than be dancing like this. You're not dancing, you're exercising. Oh my god, I thought he was the one doing it on and purpose. And you said the charms come out in the wash, but it hasn't. Known someone so dramatic, just like your father. Anyone would think you had an affliction. <laughs> he does look like he has an affliction, because he oh, got him socks please, that make him tap can we dance. Take these socks back to Mr. Hill and get me some when normal ones? When you pay ones? for your own socks, then you get to choose. Until okay, that's then, just being a dick move. <clears throat> uh, hang on, I wanted to see if there was a, a control for walking. Walk, see. Be thrifty and behave. You're starting to cause a scene. Ah, finally. Don't be absurd. That woman will say anything to avoid spending a canut. Come on in and have a look around. No touching if you have sticky fingers. All right. Now uh, what can I <clears throat> what can I buy? Hmm. All of it's worse than what I already have, so I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. I do not actually. Again, what most people would consider fashionable I consider absolutely horrible. I mean, I don't know that that means I'm the, uh, the problem, but by what most people consider, uh, huh? Rebellion. What is going on there? Hogsmeade, here I come. Is yeah, I think she's fishing with magic. Seems like a bit of an overkill. Yeah, I see you too. Nothing. Ah, right, so... I'm supposed to meet Natty. <clears throat> Lower Hogsfield, which is, well, oh, really far away. I should go to the south gate here. No. 
Where's the south gate? I'm pretty sure I had a, a fast travel point here. There we go. Alright. <clears throat> Just making sure, because th there's no compass here. So, gotta make sure that I'm going the right way. Isn't this the the place that eventually becomes Hagrid's? Or am I mistaking it for something else? It resembles what I remember from the movies. Revelio. A groundskeeper's tools. Yeah, this is it. I mean, either this is it, or uh, it's a cleverly disguised as such. This looks intriguing. I should check the cloaks and robes. Ah. Hmm. That actually doesn't look too bad. Well, it looks more non-magical. But I do want it to look magical, so... Rebellion. Hello. Oh, it's the jumping mushrooms. Jumping, to leaping toadstool. Uh, let. Wait, that's her. Hello, Natty. <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. It's good to see you Hello, too. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well. But I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. <sighs> the professor asked me not to tell anybody, but... I mean, she, uh, she fought by my side, she nearly died, so I think she deserves to know. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A portkey brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I I'm still learning, but... I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. It's and like three really things. Have questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll, and Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are <coughs> the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair on their own, and the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations, taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen and find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. 
Be on indeed. your guard. Thank you, Natty. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I, I beg your pardon. How dare you threaten me? What's, What's going, going on, on? Yeah, that's what I said. Is he just copying me? I'm kidding, I know he can't. I beseech you for some assistance. Hello, can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes, my name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the bar, Pinch Smedley's? I was hoping no someone you would come along soon. Of course, she's I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid. Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. Okay. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve Where it, do I get the feeling she's lying I may to be me. able to bring my father some peace. What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. <clears throat> it's mainly used for studying the stars. I mean, astronomical pursuits, but it has uh, nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, astrolabes I'd imagine it's in real life are indeed now. very, Still, very old. I'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. And we yet you're all Slytherins, not Ravenclaws. We are contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. Hmm, it sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of I'm course, definitely you may being discover swindled. much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. Yeah. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would she... mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I must have come this way. She's <laughs> trying to swindle you, idiot. I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to. Victor Rookwood, don't give a dock she's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student, you can't be so <clears throat> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupefy! Stupefy is not cast on the ground, woman. Uh, while you're still alive. It was that one. Oh, that must be a uh, repair room. Die. Holy crap. Dude, pick up the little ball. Oh, what's the light go out of your eyes? Lucian, new enemy type. Stop right there! Release me! I'm not going No, that's not what I meant to open. It was no, the, no. this. Alright, so let's see. It's it is Reparo. <laughs> nope. Hang on. Put this here. Three. And what shall I put on 
four. Well, I guess repair was fine on four. Neither of those are working. Oh! Duh! Yeah, I mean, I kinda. What other spell could it be? You know? Uh, thank you? What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. That's fair. You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a traveling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. Oh? I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. Mere myth? <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I like him already. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the Trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow, Mallow Sweet. Sweet. Why? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. Uh, it's, it's your hypothesis, ma'am. I brought ma a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. Um... Revelio. Oh. This trunk. Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Suite. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on <coughs> these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each mm -hmm. trial has these features. Place the Mallow Suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Okay. that the vines disappeared what should i do now hmm this is uncharted territory i, I am mean, curious it's a brassiere. about these fires incendio Merlin's beard the flames make the pyre sink it's a brassiere come on that was obvious <laughs> You don't need to be a raven to figure that out. Man, this, how beautiful. Is that Merlin? Or some kind of 
What a day. I can Merlin analog. Fascinating. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow suit, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. Thank you, likewise. And do be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. <laughs> well, that was very interesting. Um, I knew that Merlin was real in the Harry Potter world. Uh, but I, w uh, I said I, I thought he was a myth because when I first heard that Merlin was actually real, in the Harry Potter world, I thought, uh, well, before then, I thought he was a myth, so I decided to answer like that. Oh. Okay. This leech juice. These are actual leeches, it's not just juice. Uh-oh. Wait, what am I doing? Well, that's not good. It seems to be made of rock. I don't think I can do anything. Let me answer. Come on, really? Oh boy. Oh. Potato. Levioso. Levitate a d uh, dark bog by its tongue. that work. Oh, it's only when they open their mouths, right? Nope, nope, that was... Okay, should get to charge a bit more. Ah! Tongue is the weak spot, got it. Alright. I mean, I was a bit annoyed by uh, the notification. There's a reason I disabled most of those things, but... Well, I guess if it was a challenge, I couldn't have known any other way. Alright, fine. It's acceptable. Where am I going? Revelio. Yeah, I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just, I'm just walking around here. <clears throat> um, I'll go to the the dueling area, but I gotta, excuse me, gotta end the episode then. Huh? What's this? Beasts welcome, Fort Archie. Revelio. Uh, the Hybridian Black is a large dragon that can grow to over 9 meters in length. 
large rough scale originally belonging to one of these beasts, one of the prized possessions that Archie Bickle keeps in his hideout. Who is Archie Bickle? Hmm. Revelio. Okay. I just found some money randomly. All right. Levioso. Ah, it's another one of the trials. Could it be <clears throat> a Merlin trial? Of course it's a Merlin trial. Repair. Nope, that's Akio. Is that done? I don't think it is. Seems to be. I should investigate. No, but there should be something more. The vines grew back. There's one way to be sure. Challenges. Exploration. No, just one. What, what more do you want? Okay. Hmm. Here we are. Yeah, do not like that. Revelio. Where the hell is the, the last ball? I'll just take care of whatever this creature is. Levioso. Akio. Revelio. Just don't see it. What am I missing? Oh. Oh. I can actually climb here. Revelio. Oh, it's raining. Didn't expect a weather system. Huh. Well, not a dynamic one. I thought it would start to rain during really dramatic parts, like uh, some kind of duel between some friend who went to the dark side of the. Fo I mean, the uh, dark hearts. That was a joke, obviously. Um. Hmm. Well, this I'm could just prove dangerous if I'm not careful. I'm just going to assume <sighs> that I'm missing a key component here. Revelio. Cuz I've been up and down and around. Huh? There's a dungeon here. 
What is this? Pork lump juice. The hell is hork lump? And why do I want to juice it? Repero. Rebellion. Hmm. Levioso. Accio. Nope, none of these work. Wait. Incendio. What? Why are you aiming to the side? What the? There. Weird. Revelio. Well, I do not see uh, anything worthwhile here. Huh. Accio. Okay, I think that opened the door. Yep. It would be really weird to find uh, a, a pull, pulley thing like that. Rebellion. That wouldn't be related to this. The floor is breathing. This looks intriguing. Revelio. Not sure I, I get it. Hang on. Maybe I can. Accio. No. So. No. Revelio. Oh, wait. Accio. Oh. God. Brown leather fingerless glove. Interesting. Levioso. Accio. Huh, that's neat. Hmm, I wonder. No, it doesn't seem doesn't huh. seem like there's anything else here. Alright, but that's pretty cool, right? Though I think it would have been cooler if the, uh, the floor didn't have those squares, if it would just bend um, like it was made of uh, of Play-Doh or something. Anyway, uh, that is going to be everything for today. I said that like 20 minutes ago or something. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be everything for today. As always, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you again next time.